What is the essence of science? Ask an impertinent question, and you are on the way to the pertinent answer. Doctor, what medicine do I take for this disease? Hmm, ice cream. Huh? You heard that right, ice cream can cure diseases, and it is very effective. This is the research content of the 2022 Medicine Ig Nobel Nobel Prize. The winners are Marcin Jasinski, Martina Macijuska, and Anna Brodziak et al. from the Medical University of Warsaw, Poland. Ice cream is one of people's favorite snacks in summer, but this summer treat has appeared in the prescriptions given by doctors to chemotherapy and radiotherapy patients. This is because patients can reduce the probability and severity of oral mucositis by eating ice cream when receiving chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy and radiotherapy are at risk of developing oral mucositis because the epithelial cells lining their gastrointestinal tract are damaged, making them susceptible to infection, excessive saliva, mucus, and pain, combined with common nausea and vomiting making it almost impossible for the patient to eat normally. Doctors often use cryotherapy to improve this situation, however, it makes patients feel uncomfortable, and it is difficult for them to adhere to the correct medication. Therefore, the researchers decided to use ice cream instead of ice chips or ice cubes to see the therapeutic effect. They divided patients who needed autologous stem cell transplantation into two groups. When receiving the high-dose melphalan treatment, they let one group eat ice cream and other frozen foods slowly from the beginning of drug infusion, while the control group did not eat them. Patients can choose three ice creams on demand. It should be noted that what the patients ate were not special frozen foods, but commercial products provided by the hospital, including popsicles and dairy-containing products. The results showed that the incidence rate of oral mucositis was 28.85% for the patients in the ice cream group, the incidence rate of oral mucositis doubled to 59% for the patients who did not eat ice cream. Moreover, in patients who ate ice cream, even if oral mucositis occurred, the incidence of severe grade 3 and 4 oral mucositis was significantly lower than that of patients who did not eat ice cream. In fact, the finding that eating ice cream can help reduce discomfort during chemoradiation is not a new finding. Over the past few years, there have been ample scientific data demonstrating the benefits of using cryotherapy with chemoradiotherapy. This is because ice-cold food can lower the temperature of the mouth, shrink the blood vessels in the mouth, reduce the blood-containing chemotherapy drugs into the blood, and then reduce the toxic and side effects of the drugs on the oral mucosa cells, thereby helping to reduce the occurrence and severity of oral mucositis. Compared with ice cubes, ice cream is more pleasant. Patients are more willing to hold it in their mouth for longer time, which is also beneficial to the effect. Want to discover more interesting scientific research? Search Ig Nobel Nobel Prize series to find more information.